I have every right to call the police. You cannot sleep in that room. Continue. Get my good side. This is my good side. I'm going to start another video when the cops get here. Hopefully they do come. I have absolute right to document. You don't have a right to take my I'm not taking your picture. This is this is Facebook Live. Here's what we're gonna do. That's fine. I need to go back to the 12th floor That's to finish fine. writing my paper. What's uh? You got your ID on you? Yeah, I do. All right, can we see that? Why? Because we got a police call for you. Okay, let me open my apartment for you. So that you can see that I belong here. I don't think there's a need for you to be here. I think you probably need to commit her to an institution. That's the only like use you have for being here. Once we verify that you're a resident here, then we'll be on our way. Okay, great. I need to get back to the 12th floor. I gotta write my paper. We just have your ID now. Why? I just explained to you. We have a police call for you. You just said that if you prove that I live here, Correct. you would leave. Yep. So okay, I just ID. opened. I just opened the door to my apartment. That's fine. I, I can see that. Okay. Thank so you for watching that. Why? So we can verify who you are, and we'll get out of your hair. How's that? Sound good? It'll be over just like that. I'm gonna yeah, think right about. Now. I'm gonna think about whether I want to show that to you or not, because I, I really don't know if there's a justification for you even actually being in the building. I think when someone. I didn't hear what you said. No, I'm trying to decide if I even want to do that because I don't understand the justification for you actually being here. I think when someone mental calls the police for no reason, you guys should just tell them to, you know, go to an institution. Well, I mean, you can understand from our perspective. Have I ever met you before? No, I've never met her before either. So she called us since there was somebody that appeared that they weren't supposed to be where they were supposed to be. Okay. I don't know anybody from anybody, so I'm here to just make sure you have, you're supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Make sure she's supposed to be here. And then we get out of your hair. Okay. <laughs> if you can understand where we're coming from, thank you very much. Do you, do you mind if I take it out and give it, give your wallet back? Okay, great. Take that. Seven and four. So, with the other individual involved, what? How did you guys I was sleeping in the common room and she comes in and turns the lights on. Sure. And she's like, why are you sleeping here? You're not supposed to be sleeping there. I'm going to call the police on you. So that was it. I came to use the bathroom. I just came down to use the bathroom. I didn't walk out because of that. But she called the police on my friend about three months ago. The university knows that she's unstable and she's still here. Well, this is my first time actually meeting her in person, but I know that she's the one who called the police on my friend. What she called the police on your friend? Because he was in the stairwell and he was black. Great, thank you. If you want to put that over there, that'd be great. Thank you. Yep. All right, just sit tight for us. Right. Why? Because we're going to run her information and make sure everything comes back correct. Is it, did you do this for her as well? Are the officers worth her? I'm sure she is. That's Pretty much what we do. Because you guys didn't do this last time that you guys were called. I, I, I wasn't here last time. Okay. What happened last time? She did the same thing because my friend was in the stairwell. And he was black. That doesn't sound right. Well, it doesn't sound right that I'm sitting here with you and I should be writing my paper either. So I don't understand why I'm still here. I hear you. I'm not trying to keep you out here any longer than you need to be. Okay. Who exactly are you waiting to hear from? Our dispatch. On what exactly? I just explained it to you. We run your information through our dispatch. They come back to us. And say what? And say you're all clear. And, and what does all clear mean? It means that you're verified that you live here, that you're supposed to be where you're supposed to be. Like I said, I've never seen you before. We've never met. So I understand you have a key. Show me your ID. Everything looks good to me. Our partner is with the uh, other female, and uh, once we talk to her, then we'll be out of your hair. Just like I stated in the beginning. Okay. Sound good? No, but I'm here. 
Lola Dan. And what's your date of birth? 6583. 6583, thank you. Yeah, that wasn't the correct CPI. I'm not even having this conversation right now. I'm sorry. That's fine. <clears throat> and what was your date of birth again? 83 was the year, but what was it? 85? 65. 65. I don't want to talk about it. I deserve to be here. I pay tuition like everybody else. I'm not going to justify my existence here. I'm not even gonna, it's not even a conversation. She needs to be put into an institution so that she can stop harassing people. That's it. That's the only thing I'm interested in talking about right now. So this isn't the first time? This I mentioned that to you in the beginning. This it's is not. the second time? This is the second time I personally experienced her psychosis. I don't know about other people. What happened the first time? Thank you. Four you cops, you guys. Were you studying up there? Yeah. Okay, so that's all your stuff up there? Yeah. Okay. The first name is the OLO. Correct? Your first name is. Oh, yes. Yes. How you doing, Sergeant Lundy? How you doing? What's your name? All that day. Thanks. Thanks. Are you a Yale student? Of course, I'm a Yale student. How else would I, I get in I'm here? I'm a Yale student. I'm just asking. Okay, well, you have three so other cops here. here. Well, this is protocol. And I'm the supervisor, so it's going to be okay. <laughs> I know it's going to be okay. I know I'm not in trouble. My ancestors built this university. I know I'm not in trouble. Okay, well, I'm not going to be harassed because that's exactly what it is. I'm writing a paper. I have a paper due two days ago. Yeah, I understand that. But you should understand by now that there's actually, if you've actually spoken to her, it shouldn't take that long to understand that there's nothing going on. So why are you guys still here? So it's two people that have a special right now. So have you one, that's, one that's like mentally healthy and one that's I, I don't psycho. Know, I, I don't okay. know that. Okay. I, I can't make that determination. I'm not a professional like that. That's fine. What I can tell that's you is that we're going to do our job. All right. You're not being harassed. I am we're being just going to get down to the bottom of it. No, you're not. What's the the bottom of what? The bottom of, of the fact that I was like in the in the common room doing a paper and sleeping. Yeah. So what happened to y'all got into a uh, no? I was no, sleeping and she came. She comes in there. No, I, yeah. No. Yeah, no, she got into a verbal, the, the girl got into a verbal discussion. 
or try to wake her up or something? She came and turned the lights on. I was sleeping on the couch. Okay. And said, you're, you're not supposed to be here. Why are you sleeping here? She thinks that it's part of her apartment. Do you have any idea why you're, like, what's going on with your Yale ID? I have no idea. I use it every day to get in and out of everything. What's wrong with her Yale ID? It came back as no. So it's, it's coming back expired. She has a key for here. She has a key for... No, I believe. I mean, they, they have her own. They have her I'm a first year. How could it expire within nine months? I mean, it, it says, it says oh, there's an expiration date on it? I don't know if that's expiration or when you got it, but that's... That would have to be when... I don't know. Just, so, uh, she, has, she has... She has access. She's got access here. All right, so what we'll do is... Uh, yeah, does what's, what's she does not have any record for they call security. All right. Sometimes we have a mistake. Uh, do we have... Uh, Let's see. What school you belong to? GSAS. You can only live here if you're in GSAS. I understand that, but what what the part? What school do you belong to? African studies. African studies. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'll just give that information. Yeah, I think I would be She says she's with African studies. No, that's what she was saying. Mm -hmm. Is there a common room on this floor or no? No, there so isn't. So that's why you had to go up there. Doesn't matter why. I chose to go up there because I'm a free citizen to do what the hell I want in this building that I paid for. Well, this is private property, and we are police officers here, so we are allowed to do our job. So, so continue doing your job. No, we determine who's allowed to be here and who's not allowed to be here, regardless <laughs> of whether you feel that you're allowed to be here or not, okay? Continue. I mean, that's just bottom line. Continue. I hope that makes you feel powerful. It's not about feeling powerful. Okay. It's about we're going to get down to the bottom. We don't know why you're not in the system. And you're not being very helpful right now. You wouldn't be helpful either if you were woken up and harassed. You probably wouldn't be I'm in, just in a great to get down to the bottom of that. Like five the bottom of what? You. you got the story. You got to a verbal disagreement with her. And you said no. Is that correct? So how is she harassing you if you're not in a verbal disagreement? Uh, because I was doing my paper and resting, and now I'm here. I understand. So that's harassment. No. That's not harassment. Okay. All right, do me a favor. Um, where's your uh, room here? Right here. All right, she has a key and everything's good to go? She has her key. All right, give her our, our ID back. Give her a case number. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, we'll do the same with the uh, individual upstairs. And we'll get down to the bottom. So she's in our system. She has an email address, but she's not in our security system. 74. Have a good night. I'm not gonna have a good night, but you have a good night. That's all, folks. So you'll be hearing more from me about this. 